Good morning. It's Saturday, February 20th. Bruce and I are getting ready to go on an out and about to hit some antique stores. But I wanted to show you something that a friend brought me last night. Uh, we had friends, Tom and Betsy came over and we had supper together and Tom brought me something I've been looking for. I've been looking for a mailbox to hang on the wall because I have two adult kids that are out of the house and um, we're still getting mail for them sometimes. And so, I've been looking for a mailbox so I don't have to lay it on the table and we can hang it on the wall. And this was brought by Tom. What do you think, hun? It's great. I know, right? Wasn't that nice of Tom? So, Bruce is going to do a little hardware work on the back and then we're going to hang it on the wall and that's where my kids mail will go and they can check the mailbox when they come to visit. Okay, so here we are at McDonald's on a Saturday morning out and about and Bruce wanted, he wanted the, what was it you wanted? The, the sausage egg cheese McMuffin. Yeah. But it's 11.30, 8. And they don't do breakfast all day anymore. That's what he said. Unless, unless they're just select things you can get all day, but I thought that was one of them. I did too. <laughs> I but he know. said no breakfast, and I didn't see it on the menu either. Maybe that didn't go over well. I don't know. I'm sorry, honey. What's well, on that? It just seems like anything. This goes back to what we talked about. Anyway, uh, gets back to what we're talking about. Anything we like, it goes away. Yeah, I know. Well, and they're not gone. I mean, I just have to get up and get to the store. You already. just can't get it at 11:30, right? Yes. Yeah. Because the sausage egg and cheese McMuffin, I, mm -hmm. I, sometimes I'll be tempted to eat that at three or four in the afternoon. Yeah. Or maybe at seven or eight at night. Yeah. Or, I don't know. I just, they're just good. Remember Shoney's breakfast at night? Remember you could go at like yeah. nine or so? Yeah, that was great. Maybe, I know, that was awesome. Mm -hmm. I miss that. Yeah, breakfast buffet. I think that's the one thing that COVID is really ruined for me. I'm sure there's some places that still have it, but now you gotta search them out. I know. That stinks. Yeah. No, I love you. I'm sorry that you didn't get your McMuffins. Oh, it's okay. But you did get a chicken sandwich. Yeah, chicken sandwiches are good. I was thinking yeah. about this. Now, I had a coupon last week, mm -hmm. and I got a chicken sandwich from Burger King, the original chicken sandwich. Yeah. And I don't, I, back in like the early 1990s, I remember those being the bomb. I know, I remember that too. They were really good. Well, I was sitting there last week eating that thing, and I was like, this is not the bomb anymore. I was, I was like, the, a dollar McChicken sandwich from McDonald's is, is better than this, if they get enough mayonnaise on it. <laughs> I know, but you know, we've gotten spoiled to Chick-fil-A's chicken sandwiches. That's true. I mean, they're, they're the bomb. That is a real chicken sandwich. I know. All right, Bruce and I are at the Mountain Treasures Antiques. Yeah, and they got a little cabin over here with their sign on it. Okay, this is cool. They've got a um, just the it's just really just the framework right here, isn't it, babe? Yeah, well, that's the company store from 1890. 1890. That's cool. I bet there's a lot of history. Okay. So really, I've only been here, what, twice? But it's become one of my favorite stores. Hey. Hi. Doing all right? Pretty good. How about you? Oh, I'm hanging in there. Good, man. Good to see you. This is an awesome store. I 
love it. Oh, I love this picture. Isn't that pretty? Love, love these plates. I like that. Those are pretty. That'd be a pretty sandwich plate. Okay, so what would you use this little cast iron griddle thing for? Making little pancakes? <laughs> what would you do with that? Here I saw. Mm -hmm. It's called Door Gunner. Okay. And apparently it's about somebody that, you know, on these Huey helicopters, mm -hmm. maybe during Vietnam. Yeah. Was a door gunner. What reminded me of that commercial <laughs> where the guy's teaching people who are new home buyers not to turn into their parents. Yeah. And that guy's sitting there reading the book, and that yeah. guy's over his shoulder, and he says, Who else reads books about submarines? And he says, My dad. And okay. then the guy goes, yeah. <laughs> what we got there? This is a corn grinder. Uh-huh. You want to make some hominy? Some hominy grits? Yeah. I guess you'd use a corn grinder. I love grits. <laughs> so this is funny. Look here. It's a, it's a potato. It's a potato with a little potato. And Bruce said we could serve mashed potatoes in it. <laughs> Stewed potatoes, potato soup, uh, potatoes all gratin, potato fries. <laughs> What'd you find there, babe? Huh? Oh, I would have to look it up. It said Dynavox. Yeah? Of course, something named Dynavox. I'm going to have to see what it is. Absolutely. Open it up, man. It looks like a... It looks like an early form of a tablet. Huh. It's kind of thick, and it's got speakers on the back. Mm-hmm. Unless well, it's some kind of a fish finder or something like that, but I didn't see any connectors or anything. I'm Somebody probably knows what it is. We'll have to look it up. Got a cool case. Love old wooden crates. Check out this rooster. I'm not real big on roosters, but he's cute. I like him. <laughs> what is that? Cowboy. <laughs> we need that. Huh? We need that for the music room. <laughs> We need well, more cowbell in the music room. <laughs> now, that's awesome. I know. We'd have fun playing with that, wouldn't we? Yeah. <laughs> Who would you talk to on that? Mr. Walton? Yeah. <laughs>
I bet that saw some good pot roast. Yes, my daddy would love that. He loved Morris Cove, didn't he? <laughs> That's cool. They came or which one, but they had been uh, fiddling with it all morning. Well, and finally I walked out and then helping them walked out and looked, and it was taxing. And then that thing, it fired. So this is where Bruce and I grew up. <laughs> Mountain Treasures, beautiful mountain right in front of it. Okay, so now we are at the Peddler's Farmhouse. And this is kind of a new place here in town, Kings Mountain. And um, Hannah really liked this little place. And so we are gonna check it out, but y'all got to see these goats. Bruce won't let me have goats. I don't know why. But I bet he'd let me have these goats. <laughs> you get some, you can milk everybody. <laughs> going to show y'all what we found at Mountain Treasures. We didn't find anything at the, what was that other one called? The Peddler's Farmhouse. Although she had really nice stuff oh, yeah. and it smelled really good in there. <laughs> um, I felt like it was kind of more of a boutique-y type mm -hmm. um, antique store. Don't you think that? More like maybe an emporium or something. I don't know. Anyway, um, but definitely go visit the, the Peddler's Farmhouse if you're in Kings Mountain. Okay, so this is what we got at Mountain Treasures. He's going to show you what he got. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, what I found was this. Edgeworth Extra High Grade Plug and Sliced Tobacco. <laughs> it's a 10. I'm not sure how old it is. There's no date on it. There's a little bit of writing in it. I guess I can investigate, but I thought that I'd use them for my guitar picks. All right. So, I love stuff where you can put stuff into. Yes, you always enjoyed that. Uh, <laughs> and here, something else I found I'm excited about. This was this is a 1957 uh, issue of Amazing Stories. Okay. And a 1954, January 54 issue of the magazine of fancy and science fiction i love to read science fiction and these are old pulp magazines i mean you see they were 35 cents back then back today right and uh they're very collectible nowadays so. what do you like about science fiction science fiction is i mean I, what i like about it is the fact that it's just that it's fiction it's yeah. what you know what if kind of stuff you know yeah. it's it's nothing that could really uh, go on, you know. It's just, you know, it stretches the Somebody's imagination. imagination. Yeah, yeah. I love that. All right. Okay, hey, so Bruce got me some stuff, too. You know, I'm trying to do a coffee bar, coffee tea bar. So I found this cute little um, teapot, and I'm going to put my teas in there. I thought that would be cute for a display. And then um, got one of these to put on the cabinet. And we'll have to go get a Blen Blenheim ginger ale. Absolutely. So I'm we can use it. I'm excited about that little uh, thing there. <laughs> I know. Um, might need to clean it up a little bit. Yeah. Bottle opener. Yeah. Bottle, that's the name. But it's cool. Yeah. Okay. So then I'm really excited about this. Look at this. Ooh. Very nice. Uh, I know. Isn't that nice? 
guys. Mm -hmm. Big cast iron. Uh, I guess, I guess that's, I mean, it's not real big or anything, but I would consider that to be a Dutch oven type, yeah? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Definitely deep enough. Huh? You could do, you could do some kind of a little roast or yeah. a one pot, a little pot of stew or something. People like that. <laughs> then, oh, and on earlier in the video, I think I showed everybody this, if you missed it. This is my mailbox that Tom brought me last night and then there's this won't that be good to fry some steaks in or something steak or bacon bacon pancakes pancakes um yeah i'm excited it. i'm excited about those <laughs> i'm excited about my cast iron very good i'm looking forward to cooking some yummy stuff and i was also thinking something cool um, would be to do like a one skillet nacho, yeah, nacho thing, mm -hmm. and uh, you know with meat and cheese and salsa and all that stuff all in one skillet. Oh yeah. Yeah. And there's a guy up there at the Mountain Treasures that he's got several of those. This, we got those from him, and he really nice man. Yeah, he's very nice, and he he knows how to season them and, and yeah. get them all going. As a matter of fact, he cleans them up. Yeah. And seasons 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 them and um <laughs> he's he's a really nice man you need to go up there and check them out mountain treasures in king's mountain it's off spare springs road right spare springs, spare road. springs road right across from the linwood golf course right right and the mountain is right in front of it yeah go see him all right